Today we're going to lift and shift into Azure. We already have a Nutanix Cloud Cluster NC2 already running. We have an on-prem environment that's connected via VPN, and we're going to use Nutanix DR to move a workload from on-prem into Azure, and you'll see how quick and seamless it is. Let's take a look. With our Azure cluster fully deployed, we are now looking at our on-prem PC, which we have three VMs that we're focused on. I've split out the view from the rest of the VMs by using this category filter, so Azure-DR Web, SQL, and FinApp, which directly correspond to the, uh, these virtual machines that we're going to migrate using Nutanix Disaster Recovery. They have already have these categories applied, that's why they're showing up. The first step uh, is enabling Leap, which is done, but then we would create a protection policy in Prism Central. We have one pre-created, so if we go and update this, we can view the source and the destination. We also have the RPO uh, already configured to use NearSync, so it's going to take a snapshot every minute. It um, has a roll-up schedule, so if you ever need to roll back, you have lots of recovery points that you can use. And then we can adjust any categories, so we have our three categories showing up, um, it's picking up the three VMs, which are a part of that, so we're good to go. And then the next step is the recovery plan, so a simple one, two, three. We have our recovery plan here. We're going to give it an update so we can take a look at it. So first step, just name, description, source, destination, uh, so we're good to go there. And then we have our power on sequence. Um, so you can set this up. You could add in uh, delays if you want to ensure your, in this example, your SQL server is up and running first. Then the app, the FinApp will go. Um, we're here, we're using a category versus up top, we're using the individual VM. Uh, so you have some flexibility there as well. You could add additional stages. If you wanted to, you can have up to 20. And then if you even wanted to add in your own scripting after the VM comes up, you can run those as well. Hit next. And then here is our mapping of our on-prem networks that are coming from our HVI PAM. And then here on the recovery side, we're able to pick up the overlay networking, which is in Prism Central. Um, so everything is set to go. If we had statically assigned VMs, we could do custom mappings if we didn't want um, just to use the network mapping. So hit done. And then we will, uh, to do the recovery, we always go from the destinations or the destination side. So here, uh, this is our PC in Azure. If we go to the recovery plans, uh, we can use, uh, we have a test option. So this will bring everything over and append test. Uh, pretty easy to clean up and then we could use a test network to isolate the traffic. But we're going to do a plan failover, which really is the same as the migration because we're going to shut down the virtual machines and then bring them across. But in the event of a failure, we could use unplanned DR, which will recover from the available snapshots on the recovery side. So uh, source destination again, already pre-configured. It's picking up our three VMs to move from on-prem into Azure. We'll type in failover here as one last safety valve. Now this does generate an API call, which you could then also use to automate using Nutanix Crossplay. You could also use any available API um, you know, a script or, you know, whatever you want to throw it in, whatever you're comfortable with will work. <clears throat> so our recovery plan is kicked off. We're able to go into the recovery plan and check out the status. So if we click on this, the one that's running and then go to failover, the virtual machines are shutting down. We're taking one last snapshot and then we will power them on uh, according to our recovery plan stages. So we have a couple 
Uh, virtual machines have finished replicating. We're just waiting on our app server to go. Now they're all finished and now we're going to power the VMs on according to our plan. So with that, our virtual machines are fully migrated over to Azure and we can go back into the VM tab on the Azure side and see that they're up and running and perfectly fine. That's how easy it is to move your workloads from a Nutanix cluster on-prem into Azure. Please follow this playlist to see Nutanix move, taking a non-Nutanix workload and moving it on to our Nutanix cloud cluster. Like and subscribe, and please mention or list any use case that you would like to see with the Nutanix cloud clusters below. Thanks.